Good Don't evening. Tender, more tender. See? What is tender? Hello. Good evening. Hi, uh, teacher. How are you doing? I'm very well. What about you guys? Thank you for asking. Thank you for asking. How was your day? Oh, good. Yeah, everything is good so far. Thank you. Just for the earthquake. Even my, oh, my neck is here shaking. Lucky me, since I was not at home and I was in a store, I was buying some things, especially rackets, you know, because I really mosquitoes. love killing mosquitoes. <laughs> yeah, I had to. Okay, so thankfully I didn't feel it. I just heard someone that says, hey, it is it is uh, shaking. And I was like, mm, I better ignore them. <laughs> so I continue watching uh, the the some some stuff in in that uh, grand dollar. <laughs> there is where I was. Okay, so I'm sorry, <laughs> Brandy. You said that you feel like you were flying. No, no, somebody said. <laughs> oh no, it was not you. No, somebody uh -huh. said. Somebody said it. Okay. <laughs> well, help me with the cameras, guys. Please. Luis Madrid is, is like your second time or maybe like the third time, I guess, that I see you connected. Yes, teacher. Okay. Then um, nice. So today we will uh, we will study the um, section four, right? Yeah. Did, did you watch the videos? Maybe yes, or maybe not. So so. Okay, why are you so quiet today, guys? We're scary, yeah. They are scary. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah. All right. Ah, okay, so you don't you don't want anybody they to are see. Still, they are still praying. <laughs> Help me with the cameras, guys. Come on. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Thank you, Tanya, Jancy, Andrea. Hey, nice to see you, Ernesto. How was your, uh, how did you, how was the earthquake? How, how was the experience? <laughs> Good evening. Good evening. Well, Santa Ana, if I'm not mistaken, right? No? Soy Apango. Soy Apango, okay. So. I, I just was, uh, in my co in my sofa, I didn't move, just leave it. <laughs> okay, okay. If something's going to happen, anyways, right? You just pray at that time. Okay. Correct. All right. Yeah. Ever help me with the cameras? I know your camera is not like perfect, perfect, but I would like to see the camera on. Why? Cause it see it seems super dark, and it's like kind of boring. All right, seeing uh seeing black um black cameras. Okay. So yeah, give me a moment. I'm just arriving to home, so I'm turning off. Thank you. Okay. Luis, what happens to your camera? Are you working? Yes, I still working. I'm sorry. I still working or oh, I'm still working. I am still working. Okay, remember to pronounce the M at the end. And Jamie Rosibel? It's a, it's a ghost. Yes, you see? No cameras, no audio. So bad. Anyways, um, 
What was the last part we studied? Hmm. We were supposed to do um oh we already did the the pilot skill and control. Yeah, so we finished the reading as well. Let me share the screen. Manda, can you help me with the camera? Puchica, chicos, en serio, de que desde el inicio, ¿verdad? Decimos que la cámara, la cámara, la cámara, y sí que no entendemos, ¿verdad? No, we don't understand. No, no, to, no, no, con los, no con los que encienden la cámara, ¿verdad? Sino con los necios que hay que estarlos puyando, ¿verdad? Van a disculpar en mi lenguaje, pero sí que, que vale verguismo, la verdad. Ok, bueno. Anyways, guys, so, um, thank you, Amanda. Thank you. Thank you, Vanessa. All right. Finally. Yeah, si no los regaño, no me hacen caso. All right. And anyways, guys, lesson objective, help me read. In this class, you will learn how to tell stories. Ok. Um, what's the difference between stories and history? Easy, right? Stories, His... stories is like a tale. Exactly, a tale. Mm -hmm. And history is all the backgrounds, right? That has or some events that have happened throughout the time since the world was created by God. All right. Nice. So thank you, maybe. Maybe. Yeah. Around the campfire. Okay, uh, help me read, help me read, uh, Tania, okay, can you read that instruction? This. Sure. Watch the video and write a summary of the right. story. Right, write a summary. Mm -hmm. Summary of the story on the discussion forum, then tell us a key story that you may know of. Mm hmm spooky story, spooky story. What is that meaning? Who knows? That is scary. Okay, nice. Um, thank you. Now, around the campfire. Oh yeah, I think I was, I, I already watched the, this video. Anyways, pay attention. I will I will ask you um I will ask you for details, okay? Let me know if you can hear. Hey guys. Yeah, what do you I remember we have watched this video in previous session. No. Yeah. Hmm. No with me. Really? Hmm. Okay. No, no with you. Nice. You're so not pay going attention. to believe this. I just heard a story about this campground. What do you mean? What about it? I was just at the bathhouse. I had taken a shower and was brushing my teeth when this woman came in with her daughter. She, she was telling her the story, so I listened in. What's so interesting about this old campground? It isn't scary, is it? Because scary stories freak me out. Don't be such a chicken, Molly. Come on, Ellen, tell us the story. Well, this all took place many years ago. Before it was turned into a campground, this land had been a farm. It was owned by a young couple named Theodore and Dolly McShane. Mr. McShane had inherited the land from a relative. So, what's so scary about that? I thought this was supposed to be a spooky story. I'm getting to that, just wait. The McShanes were wonderful people. Friendly, sociable, everybody loved them. And they really, really loved each other. Everybody could see it. When they were walking down the street together, they always held hands. When he was working in the fields, he always picked her wild flowers and brought them home to her in the evening. Oh, that's so <laughs> sweet. Oh no, then something bad happened, right? Yes. One day, as Theodore was coming home from town, he saw smoke in the distance. It had been a very hot, dry summer, so fires were a real danger. 
And was there a fire at the farm? Yes. And as he was hurrying down the road, the smoke was getting thicker and thicker, blacker and blacker. All he could think about was his wife. But by the time he got home, the house was completely in flames. He screamed Dolly's name over and over, but she didn't answer. She was in the house? She died in the fire? Yes. It was a terrible tragedy. What happened then? Well, the poor man went crazy. He refused to believe that Dolly had died. For months, he searched for her. He walked all day and night through the countryside and through the town, searching, searching. And in his hands, he always carried a bouquet of wild flowers for his poor, dead bride. So how did it turn out? What finally happened to him? That's the spooky part. It's a mystery. People saw him less and less. And then Theodore McShane just disappeared. No one ever saw him again. But the people who live here say he still walks the forest at night looking for his lost bride. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to frighten you ladies. I was making my rounds and wanted to see if everything is all right. Yes, a park ranger, of course. Yes, everything's fine. Ellen was telling us a spooky story when you came by. Campfire stories, huh? That's always fun. Well, okay, then. I'll let you get back to it. Thanks for checking on us, and sorry about the screams. Oh, that's okay. I'm used to it. Hey, in the morning, you ladies should take a look down that path. There's a field full of wildflowers in there in bloom right now. Very pretty. Oh, that's good to know. We'll do that, thanks. Here's some for you to enjoy. In case you need anything, I'll be at the ranger station. Thanks again. Oh, what's your name? I'm Ted. Theodore, really. But my friends call me Ted. Ted McShane. You have a good night. <laughs> okay, what do you think it happened? For me, that was kind of confusing. Oh, they realized that probably that was a dead man, right? Like yeah. a ghost. Probably. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Let's watch it. Just, just let's watch the last part. Did you get scared? No, really. You did because oh. you were not watching directly, Brandy. I saw Jancy Andrea. I like, was like, because imagine, it's frozen. and especially because the ones who are using the the headsets, you feel it more, more like ah. super harder. Yeah. Yeah, okay. okay, so let's watch the last part. <laughs> For me, they are bad actresses because they 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 um they sound as if as if they are uh laughing, not not scary, right? All right, guys, what can you tell me about this story? If you can tell me what happened in the whole story, that is how what is you you are going to to learn how to tell a story. In this case, everything that happens, all right, uh, it's expressed in present. But normally, when you are trying to tell a story, you change the verb into past. All right, that is something that is a must. All right. Um, I remember in some of my uh, previous jobs, that was the question, all right? Can you tell me the, your favorite movie or what was that movie about? And if they started just saying some, something in Spanish, I'm sorry, something in, in present, they, they didn't use the simple past, they didn't use the present perfect, we'll say, mm -mm, this guy or this lady will not pass to advance. 
imagine. So I hope that you pass to advance so you can tell the story, okay? Uh, so um, you can tell me a brief story about what happened, all right? Who wants to tell me the story? Do you want me to start? Vaya, le vamos a dar a Brandy. El, el, uh, Brandy, you will help me. Uh, and then, guys, take take notes, okay? Take notes. I know there are some vocabulary that may be a little new for you, all right? Or some words that you didn't understand. But remember, you don't have to, to be thinking on the, just one word, but all the context, all right? That's the way that you learn how to express the ideas. Brandy, tell me, what do you I, think about the I video? I will be the last one. No, <laughs> you're my assistant. <laughs> but, I, okay, the other part that I took uh, notes. <laughs> okay, uh, the, the story was about a couple, two mm -hmm. persons. Um, two people. Two people. And they did everything together, like uh, have a funny time, uh, go and buy something, enjoy together. Yeah, so they was a really lovely couple. Yes. But one day, when he came back to work, I think they say. From uh, work? Work. From they, work? Mm -hmm. From work. He saw uh, smoke. Mm -hmm. And then when he walked more and was in front of the house, he saw the the house was uh, set on burning. fire. On fire, burning. yeah, burning, yeah. And he started to call his wife okay. and calling and calling his wife, but he never answered. Good, let her burn. Mm -hmm. All right, enough, enough. I know there are more, there are more, um, a lot more to say about it, but you already gave us like the story. Okay, so you already mentioned many uh, super nice details. All right, I want to just to say something. Yeah, set on fire means to get like to be, be born, right? Uh, it was on fire or set on fire. Uh, what I liked is how you use the, the past, right? The past. Yeah, they started, right? Calling and calling started. So uh, I I really appreciate, guys, when you say started, permitted, decided, because that is something that I sometimes take a long time to explain to you how to pronounce those verbs. So good, good for you, um, Brandy. Um, can funny, I pass to the second level? <laughs> of course, of course. Okay, you you are actually teaching, right? No, uh, no, not, no, not anymore. No, you I quit. quit. I know, I know. Um, like private classes are are complex. People don't want to pay. Mm -hmm. No, it's not it wasn't <laughs> for the money. It's just. They they don't pay attention or oh. they try to yeah as the ones who don't who never turn on the camera right they never pay attention I know Brandy you you said something last time that this is one of the group that are that is so slow yeah. so take yeah, it crystal. easy crystal not, yeah not everybody of course not everybody verdad si sí, hay unos que se salvan pero los demás son tan pasivistas and for me, it's okay. <laughs> Demasiado, lo agarran bien al suave, como dicen. Okay, funny time es un momento chistoso, pero, okay, if you want to say que se divertían, que tenían tiempo bonito, okay, así se dice un fun time, okay? No, la diferencia entre fun no, es... No, funny es algo chistoso, gracioso. Ajá. Pero fan, como le dicen, how fun, divertite, divertirse juntos. So, esa es la diferencia. This is, uh, you say fun time. So I can say they share funny time. Ellos estaban compartiendo momentos graciosos. Ahí sí. Pero si está diciendo momentos agradables, momentos bonitos, ahí dice fun time. Fun. 
-hmm. fun, fun, okay. fun, fun time. Y ahí sí, como podemos decir fun, fun times o funny times, como usted dice, le puede poner la S porque está hablando de momentos, ¿verdad? O de, de, okay. de, de pequeños eventos. Ok, good job. Who wants to do it? Vamos a ver quién más quiere pasar avanzado. Uh -huh. Si dependiera de mí, de verdad, que en esa plataforma les pusiera exámenes difíciles para que no pasaran. Solo los que de verdad, de verdad, <risa> se lo merecen. Uh -huh. <risa> Levanta okay. la mano, ¿quién la quiere? Nadie dice, ¿ve? reprobados todos. Ajá. Mavi, Mavi y Sullivan siempre son los que más, más me. Ah, le siguen ahí, ¿verdad? La cola. Yeah, ahí está con Sullivan then. All right, Hello. Sullivan, are you working? Ah, ah, there you go, right? Hey, nice to see you, Sullivan. Nice uh, to see you. What do you think about the video? How can you tell the video to the rest of the students? Okay, I'm going to start with the, the part of uh, Brandy left. Okay, or, okay. Okay, so mm -hmm. she said he, and he was walking uh, to mm -hmm. the home or toward to the home. So he, he saw a, a smoke coming mm -hmm. from his home. So he started to walk in fast, I think. And it's about the story, right? So yeah. he, 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 when he's when he stay in front of the house, he start to scream and think, uh, calling his uh, uh, his wife or his girlfriend. I don't, I don't remember. It's a wife, so, yeah. Actually, it's a wife. Yes. Okay. Wife. Mm -hmm. So so he start to screaming or, or or telling her name, but he couldn't the answer, hear the answer about it. So it was a, a sad story because uh, he he tried to save her. I think. Yes. So nowadays he's, he's still looking for her in in the forest. So that that's why the girl is finding uh, the boy or the the man in middle of the forest and saying that things and he's he the 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 people who was in front of the um the fire bonds mm -hmm. uh, they realize that he's uh the the boy who lost his wife, right? So it was yeah. a scary idea. Yeah. Okay. Did you get scary, Sullivan? Ah, come on. Ah, come I on. I, it was a funny time. story. Ah, oh, for you, for you. Uh, yeah. I actually got man. scared, and it was the second Catch time I watched the video. Yeah, it was yeah. the second time I watched the video, and I got surprised. Uh, really? when yeah, I was I got surprised once again. All right. It's okay. because I'm kind of scary. Yeah, I'm kind of. A scared person all right okay. last time i'm going to tell a story guys it was with okay. the second group at nine at, at nine and then i just heard like a that like a toad actually it, it was actually a, flo a frog no a toad es el sapo a frog es la rana rana right so uh, i heard a, a a frog all right and i started okay. looking no it okay. was in the front, yeah, in the in the roof of my oh, okay. house, and I and I I just I just saw up, and I I and I saw her, like like her, her belly, and I thought it was a snake who was uh, that which mm. sorry which was eating the the frog, and I started yelling. It, it, <laughs> it was I my students got so so scared they thought that I saw like a ghost or something like that. And and I and I actually quit my my class, like stopped the class, to call my brother. All right, mm -hmm. and, and um, I wanted to tell. Um, well, I wanted my brother to to come to my house and kill the 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 like the snake, you know. The snake. And, yeah, but it was not a snake. It was just a frog. But I was so scared that I couldn't sleep until four a.m. Imagine. I've just. What is the up... name of this movie, teacher? <laughs> one day teaching class one day teaching <laughs> at nine <laughs> at nine in El Salvador yeah, share at, the video say something at 9 p.m um <laughs> you you will laugh too much but but the... believe me yeah i imagine yeah i i will probably send the the, the link to uh to the ones who send me i will not send it to um 
uh, to the um, to the group. But if mm. you want to have the video, I'll probably look for that. But it was my my old class. I don't remember which day was it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, was it? Yeah. Oh, it was. Was it? Was it? I it think. Was. Which day? Uh, was it? Yeah. Was why is no what day it was? Uh -huh, si sería. Como, I don't know. It's como an indirect question. So I don't know uh, um, which day it was. It was, exactly. Mm -hmm. ¿Qué día fue? Or which day was. Yeah, it was. Sí. Okay, nice, guys. Thank you, mm -hmm. Sullivan. Nice. I'm going to give you some tips, all right? Uh, when you say they, um, well, the guy uh, saw the smoke. Mm -hmm. the smoke and he started walking okay walking he started después de started ocupa un, un gerund all right so yeah, he started right. walking home you don't have to say walking to home okay okay uh, so walking home que se iba caminando a casa not necessary it. to uh, then so he started walking fast me dijo Oh, no, más rápido todavía sería entonces faster. Uh -huh. Ya, yeah. un comparativo. Ok, eh, when he will stay, ¿se quedó? O cuando, cuando estaba en la casa. Ahí stay es cuando uno se queda o permanece así. Ok, me voy a quedar en mi casa todo el fin de semana, no voy a salir. Ok, entonces okay. Es, eso es quedarse. Y el estar o estuvo es el was. En ese caso... Eh, no sé a qué se refería, pero creo que era más, eh, quizás mejor empleado, no más mejor, perdón, quizás un poco mejor empleado el was en ese caso, ¿ok? Eh, no sé si me dijo start to scream o started scream. No, start. Start. Ok, entonces le poníamos que, que comenzó a, a, a gritar, ¿verdad? Started to scream started el pasado, ¿ok? Como okay. lo dijo Brandy al inicio. Ok, nowadays, qué bueno, ¿verdad? Como estamos ocupando los, como los sequence words, ¿verdad? Los, 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 las palabras que le dan sentido a, a una historia, porque a veces solo estamos hablando de, como que en oraciones, ¿ok? Y no le damos una, una, una coherencia a, después de eso, after that, before, uh, at the end, etc., etc., etc. You have many, uh, many words to, to use and give more uh, coherence to, uh, to the story. All right. Uh, the girls is, me dijo, no, the girls are, uh, are okay, are find it out, o sea, como que cayeron en cuenta, o se pueden decirme nada más, oh, the girls found out, find oh. it, okay, find out, presente, I said pasado. Realize, realize, they ah, okay. realize. The, so the girls, pero uh, the girl is, me dijo, uh -huh. the girl is, entonces, the girls, girl girl, si es plural, pues decimos the girls are, y también me dijo people was. Así como Brandy también siempre le dijo, mm -hmm. siempre yes, le digo, al, al revés, ¿verdad? Ajá, al revés, dicen was en lugar de were, ¿ok? Yeah. Eh, Alguien dijo, you was, no, ¿verdad? No existe, sino que es you were, ¿ok? Tú estuviste. Thank okay. you, Sullivan, super you nice, know. super, super nice, nice story. Uh, I know there, uh, you can say it in your own words. ¿Verdad? Ya tienen dos ideas para hacer el video. ¿va? Escríbanme y ahí se los mando, ¿ok? Lo voy a buscar. Ok. Um, what up, what, what, ah, bueno, sí, va a ser fácil porque el video dura más de la hora, ¿verdad? Porque tuve que reponer los, los, los minutitos. Así que va a ser fácil encontrarlo. It will be easy to find it. Um, so, anybody else who wants to tell me the stories? Yo creo que con tres somos que su más que suficientes. Ok, obviamente si quieren participar más, perfecto, right? Mientras usted no diga nada, no se va a equivocar. Y si no se equivoca, no va a aprender. Ok, Ever. Mavi, Mavi. Mavi. What Mavi. happened, Mavi? You already tell, told everything about no, it. No, but you are go, you will you you're not going to repeat it. You're not going to repeat everything. You will say it in your own words. 
in your That's different right. vocabulary. Mm -hmm. okay. okay, so ever he, he wants to try. Tell me ever. Yeah, I think now it's right and <laughs> Brandy and Sullivan almost tell everything. Mm -hmm. But I think the an special coach in the video was the 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 girl says that the man was buying flowers uh, when he was told when she was telling the story. And mm -hmm. when the man arrives to to the place, uh, he had flowers in his hand. And yeah, and he says, I was doing my runs. And when he left the place, uh, I think the girls uh, just realized that he had flowers in the in his hand. And and he says, I was doing my runs like like if he do that every day so i think that's why they get scary they got scary right in past all right thank you ever um you. very good okay the girl says muy bien pero si era plural the girls say all right si lo dijo okay. singular pues no he dicho nada the girl says or the girls say all right, solo no, la tercera persona la cambiamos que era ses. Muy bien, super. Okay. All right. Uh, also, you say, okay, so when the man arrives, cuando el hombre llega, okay, también lo podemos decir en pasado. When the, when the man arrived, past, okay. Uh, nada más eso. You say realized. Todo mundo ya sabe qué significa realized. But you can also get, uh, say, got into account. O sea, como que se dio cuenta, cayó en la cuenta. Got into account. That's another expression you can use. Okay. And that's it, actually. Your, your participation was a little short because you said that, yeah, the rest already said uh, almost everything. But you can say it in your own words. Maybe so. Tell me. And if no, there's no one else who wants to tell me the story, then we continue with the with the next part. Okay. But maybe I I want to hear you. Okay. Okay. Um. Okay. The girls. It's supposed that they they wanna have fun. By the way, <laughs> to tell a spooky story and. The first girl started to tell the the rest of them that uh, it was a story that a couple that live in a in a house together. But uh, one one day, the man when he came back to home, he came back home. Exactly. He realized that uh, his house. Uh, how with uh big flames big flames and uh the house was on fire was on fire and he started to 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 shut out uh calling for her but she didn't respond it and then the story told us that um, that the the woman died, the woman died, and then he become became a crazy guy mm -hmm. because uh, he stay uh, to call out for her on the forest every day at night, and but she mm -hmm. never. Uh, respond and the people real more that uh, the people never know about him anymore because probably he disappeared yeah and that's the spooky uh, and the funny part is that the, <laughs> when the war of the forest appeared the yeah and seen uh, he had on his hand a, a, a bouquet similar to the story bouquets. So when the girls yes. realize mm -hmm. that, they are scary and shut down and laugh a lot. 
it was I don't know. I, I, it, it seemed that it was actually uh, like they were laughing, but I I think they they were actually scaring. I don't know. No sé si les ha pasado que la, la risa miedosa. No sé si alguna vez les ha pasado. ¿Sí? No, yo no, yo no sé cuando ya me ha pasado tal vez, pero en ese momento no. Okay, maybe. Good job telling the story. Uh, thank you. Uh, talking about the spooky story, the spooky story. Sorry, and um, um, I just want to to mention something. You also said girls. Le agregó la s, entonces no es s tampoco, ¿verdad? Sino que girls are supposed or were supposed. Le hace falta hacer un poquito más énfasis en los pasados de los regulares. Okay, so. They were supposed, or the girls were supposed, right? They were supposed uh, to. Es bien difícil porque después de supposed to, si casi no 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 se puede pal, eh, digamos eh, em, escuchar bien la de la e de verdad. It's the supposed to porque va casi que la t va junto ahí verdad. Supposed to, all right? Now. Uh, the story that a couple, no, the story about a couple, okay? The story was about the, a couple. Um, otra cosa que todos tenemos, hasta yo, es que cuando decimos sto eh, story o study o special, decimos la e al inicio, ¿verdad? Nada más recordemos que dice, it's about a story. No a story. Um, um, me dijo, shh. ¿cómo dijo gritar? Start out. Shout. Start. Ajá. Shout. Shout es gritar. Ok. Um, respond. Responde, sí, es como digamos, es tu muerto y no, no responde porque no tiene eh, signos vitales. Ok. Entonces ahí mejor lo ocupamos. Answer. She never answered. She never replied. Nunca, nunca contestó, ¿verdad? Replied, ¿ok? Um, y en todo caso, si estábamos hablando que ella no respondía, sería responded. O she responses. Tercera persona en presente, ¿ok? El died d, al final, ¿verdad? También los sonidos al final, maybe. Nice. Y eso, ah, he knew, el pasado de los verbos, ¿verdad? He knew, me dijo no, ahí. Guard, la U es muda, ¿ok? Para todos, porque hasta yo me acuerdo que decía guard, ¿verdad? Pero no, es guard. Po, eh, y eso es todo, va a disculpar que le, que le saqué ahí varias cositas. Pero así es que aprendemos, ¿verdad, maybe? Yo sé que a usted no, no, pues no le, no le molesta en lo absoluto. You don't mind people correcting you, uh, correcting you, right? Or telling you how to, how to improve your English, right? How to improve maybe pronunciation or, well, the idea was super organized. Uh, but of course, I just wanted to um, to mention some of the pronunciations. All right. So thank you so much. Anybody else? A las one, a las two, a las three. Los miedosos. Ahí estamos. Eso, aplauso. Ay, hoy sí se nos están animando más, verdad? Aquí, aquí quiero ver los que los que quieren pasar de verdad a, a avanzar. All right. Vamos, Marina. Tell me about the story. The story was about a couple. Mm -hmm. And they were uh, friendly and sociable. And one day when the man came back home and he saw his house on fire and he started to call his bride and the bride never responded. And the woman died bored and uh, then the people didn't know about the man, but some believe some people believe he uh, still walked in the forest at night. Mm -hmm. 
That is all. And that's all. Okay, super. Yeah. Applause. Thank you. But a todos se merecen el aplauso, pero yo sé que son los que más participan. Así que animo más a los que no, no, no muchos participan, ¿verdad? Pero eh, gracias, chicos, por hacer ese esfuerzo, ¿verdad? Eh, Marina, eh, el men es el plural, the man. All right. Mm -hmm. Nada más eso. Eh, lo mismo que le había comentado al, a, bueno, que creo que todos nos, a todos nos pasa que decimos he started. Y aquí lo que podemos hacer es el puente entre la E con la S. So he started, he started. Y ya no decimos como es el epsilon o algo así se llama, que es cuando nosotros como en español, ¿verdad? Tenemos la E y no hay ningún, no hay palabra que no tenga, por, comienzan con S. En inglés, acá todas comienzan en, con, con una E, ¿verdad? Entonces, es, es muy común que tenemos eh, esa pronunciación bastante marcada. Eh, y me dijo, he never responded, o she never responded. Como le digo, she never answered, podría decir, o she never replied. Me dijo, respond, pero si en todo caso lo ocupamos, sería el pasado con la ed, ¿verdad? ¿Se acuerdan que todos los verbos que se pronuncian o terminan con una t de tomate y una d de dedo, siempre se pronuncia eh, sílaba extra, ¿verdad? Wanted, decided, demanded, responded. Eh, no se acordó quizás o, o tuvo miedo que la corrigiera, pero la, en los pensamientos o las creencias de la gente, podría decir, de, de, people, people's beliefs, All right. Belief, o sea, esas son las creencias, pero usted después me, me lo dijo de otra forma, oh, people believed that, ¿verdad? y entonces la gente creía que todavía he existed, he still uh, wondering, wondering es moviéndose de un lado a otro, ¿verdad? wondering, en lugar de wonder con una O, es con A, wondering, que anda así de, de un lado a otro, ¿verdad? como alma en pena, ok, super, super good guys, Anybody else? Yes or no? Me teacher. Oh, a la one, one to three. A la one to three. Ya ve que ahora sí ya se animaron varios. Excellent. That is, eh, si podemos hablar solo ahora, acuérdense. Pero yo sé que los demás están como que, ay, que voy a participar ya. Yo ya no quiero estar escuchando a los demás. También de los errores de los demás aprendemos, ¿verdad? O sea, eh, pero si se fijan, ya nos faltan 17 minutitos y pues si todos quieren participar, por mí, perfecto, all right. Pero si no, pues si ya no tenemos más volunteers, vamos a continuar con la clase regular, all right. Yes, Raúl, I hear you. Okay, I am all thank ears. You, mm -hmm. <laughs> thank you, teacher. My pleasure. Uh, thank okay. You. Uh, um... Uh, I was uh, 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 I was watching the story and the story is about a couple um, uh, a couple um, um, when when the um, uh, when I'm the <coughs> teacher se me traba la lengua. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, don't, don't I'm, going, worry, to, don't I'm worry. going to start the chair. Go. Okay, Sunday the wife uh, returned back to uh, to to his home, and he find if he, he find out uh, his house uh, uh, on fire. Uh, in the house was here was his wife, and he he. He start to shoot uh, his wife, um, but his wife. Uh, wife. Al wife, final, la F. But his, wife. Uh -huh. but, but his wife uh, was uh, died in the fire. Yeah. And she she died in the fire, and but he loved her very much. Uh, his wife. And the, the impact was very strong uh, for, for, for him. And he shoot a lot strong of Strong or heavy? A strong me dijo de fuerte? 
Uh, the impact was strong. Okay, nice, nice. Continue. Sorry to interrupt. Uh, the, um, the impact uh, to, uh, to miss his wife was uh, very strong and mm -hmm. he was uh, a little crazy. The uh, science, uh, science uh, this time. Uh, Since. Mm -hmm. uh -huh, so this time he was a little crazy and he walking around the forest uh, very uh, a lot of time and uh, uh, asking for his wife, uh, uh, asking for his wife and, and sometimes he disappeared, people uh, in the city uh, never, uh, never in the house um, uh, never in, in, in the city, never in the city. Um, was sought, fue visto. Or was seen, perdón. Uh -huh. Seen, was seen. Never so, in the city was seen. Uh -huh. Never in the city was seen. seen. Mm -hmm. The uh, visto. But, mm -hmm. uh, okay, but uh, when the when the three the girls uh, are uh, talking in the in 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 the in the fire in the fire they are in the fire a campfire fogata mm -hmm. the Camp, campfire, campfire when they mm -hmm. are uh, when they are a uh, that they chatting in the fire suddenly up they appear um an agent mm -hmm. with a with a a bucket in in his hand. Yes. And he offered uh, the bucket to someone of the girl, and they very is is scary. Sorry, but we have an earthquake right now. And then Die, they, friend, you... and they, they relax, relax, they guys, relax. Scary. Let's continue listen to Raúl. Okay. Sorry, Raúl. Mm -hmm. And, and then teacher, uh, uh, the the agent, uh, the agent offered a couple uh, the bucket to the to the girls, and they and they feel uh, they they feel um, uh, they feel um, okay. They felt very ugly because uh, they think uh, in the ghost and they scream a lot, teacher. Okay, that's it. Finish. Thank you, Raul. Finish. Relax, guys. Yo, en serio, también aquí, yo no lo sentí, gracias a Dios. Miren, si no, yo salgo corriendo y los dejo solitos en la clase. Okay, pero sí, Brandy, relax. Are you alone? Are you by yourself? No. Oh. Ok, bueno, bienvenido al Valle de las Hamacas, dígale a su, a su husband. Say your name. Hamac, oh, welcome to the Hamac uh, Valley. Valley, Valley, sorry, Valley. Ok, welcome to the Hamac Valley. All right, am I correct? Mire, cuando uno quiere hacer traducciones literales a veces queda mal uno ve hasta burla, yeah. hasta burla nos yeah, hace that was one of my problem on this game because they they use me as a translator and was a piece of <laughs> okay a piece of s okay or oh, a piece of cake vaya pues nice hey raul your uh, you said basically all the story okay I just want, sí, yo creo que todos estamos aquí porque estamos aprendiendo, así que le toca ahorita a usted el, el, su feedback, ¿ok? O sea, su, su, ¿qué es un feedback? Retroalimentación, ¿ok? Right? That's una feedback. Eh, since, la gente dice science, como que ciencia. Ok. Ok, let's see. Está temblando de nuevo, guys. No, right. Okay. Vaya, it's okay, Brandy. No problem. Okay. So, 
Um, some days, algunos días. Sería mejor algún un día de esos, ¿verdad? O one day o some day. Um, lo hago porque fue uno, ¿verdad? No fue, no fue un evento que se repitió, sino que fue justamente cuando, lastimosamente, when unfortunately the wife o his wife, que al final la F no se la oigo muy bien, así que porfa, ¿verdad? Eh, pronunciamos las Fs o la, en todos los casos las S de, de los, de, del sapo, ¿verdad? Que hay personas que no me la leen no la leen o no la pronuncian, ¿verdad? Y la tercera persona, pues, requiere la S cuando ustedes conjugan, ¿ok? Igual la F, ¿verdad? La V, drive. Si yo digo dry, ¿qué es dry? Secar, ¿verdad? Secar algo, ¿ok? Entonces, si yo digo dry, no, no estoy diciendo la palabra correcta, sino que es drive, ¿verdad? Los sonidos finales, nada más. Eh, otra cosa, eh, lost her wife, no sé si me dijo lost her wife, estaba bien, no sé por qué escribí eso, pero si lo quiero decir en presente es lose, pero si él la pierde, ok, como me puede decir, ah, es que en la historia el hombre pierde a su esposa, Ser, sería entonces the man loses tercera persona, ¿verdad? Luces, ¿se acuerdan que todos los verbos que terminan con CH, SH, X, S o Z, ¿qué pasa? ¿Qué les pasa? Se les agrega la ES, ¿verdad? No solo le agregamos la S para eh, hablar en tercera persona. Por ejemplo, eh, eh, Brandy extraña a su esposo. Brandy misses, misses. ¿verdad? Ok. Quises, la besa, o lo, lo besa, quises, sí, es plural, ¿verdad? De los chocolatitos que son tan ricos, ok, quises, eh, etcétera, fixes, ella la arregla, ok, ella arregla su moto, she fixes, ok, nada más eso, eh, me salí del tema, no es, no es algo que Raúl lo dice, sino que es para que todos, ¿verdad?, te recordemos cómo utilizar los verbos de, 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 que terminan en, 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 las, en las letras que ya les dije, ¿verdad? Ok, eh, so, me dijo, él encontró, se lo voy a escribir mejor aquí, vaya, para que nos, nos pongamos un poquito más, más en contexto y yo creo que ya casi vamos a terminar, me avisa si hay alguien más que quiere eh, participar, hasta cabal, ocho... 8.58 para darle dos minutos de feedback, ¿ok? Vaya, entonces, me, ahí me levantan la mano si quieren. Ok, now, eh, por ejemplo, dice, he find, no, la S. He la. find out. Ok, pero en pasado, ¿cuál es el pasado? He find. No. No, found. es un verbo irregular, entonces es found. found. Ok, entonces, si yo digo find, es encontrar, ¿verdad? Busco el que busca, encuentra. Pero si yo digo find out, con el out es un verbo, eh, perdón, es un phrasal verb, ¿verdad? ¿Qué significa? ¿Qué significa? Encontrar. 5.7 de ahorita. Ay, Dios mío. Va pues Michelle, mire, si, eh, Michelle no me enciende la cámara y ahorita no estamos hablando del, del, del... Perdón, perdón. Gracias. Ok. Vaya. Entonces, perdón chicos, pero sí estamos, eh, cuando interrumpimos la clase, yo les digo, pónganle mute. Ok. Entonces, find out. Averiguar. Oh. Eh, you cook very well, right? Sí que hace buenos postres. Mira, al rato vamos a ir a buscar a Brandy para que nos haga un postrecito. Solo hay que comprarle, ¿verdad? Sus, los, los, ¿cómo se llama? Los ingredients, all right? Nice. From United States. Oh, really? Oh, so he's going to take it. He will he take it. it. Oh. He sent it to me. Oh. Oh. All the ingredients. Se lo, se, lo, ¿Se lo envió? He sent it to me all day. Uh, oh, really? Every day? Yeah. Oh. Yeah, no, I think I make it. Entonces I sería, he sends it. He sends, he sends it. Yeah, sends it. Sends it. Okay. O me lo envió, 
he sent it, okay, con la I T. Say he sent it, he sent it. Mm -hmm. Ok, pero por eso, si es, me lo envió, es con T entonces. Por el it. Pero me dijo todos los días, ¿verdad? No, he sent it. He sent. Ajá, con la T, ¿verdad? Ok, he sent it. Okay. Right. He sent Find it. out. Ok, entonces co continuamos oh. con el punto, ¿verdad? Mm -hmm. Find out. Entonces eh, sería he found out. ¿Qué, ¿Qué dijimos que significaba? What did you say? Encontrar. Encontrar. Exacto. Encontró. No. He found out he was gay. I told you that was averiguar. Exactly. Averiguar, darse cuenta, ¿verdad? Como, de, como decir, get into account o, o averiguar. Entonces, en este caso, eh, mi querido Raúl, el, el ejemplo que usted dio era solo con he found his house on fire. Él encontró su casa eh, en quemándose, ¿verdad? ¿Ok? Nada he más ahí. Uh -huh, exactly. Sin, no, sin decir, ya, yeah, he found his house. In fire, on fire, perdón. El find out en este caso no, 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 es, no es el apropiado, sino que solo find. Y el pasado era found, ¿ok? Y si es tercera persona en presente, finds. La S. Nice. Ahora, esto que fue bien heavy, ¿ok? It was hard. Esa es la, la mejor palabra de decir cuando es algo fuerte. Strong es que de los que es los ñecudos, ¿verdad? Que tienen un montón de fuerza, pueden levantar grandes pesos. Eh, eso sí es, es un strong. Si usted dijo que fue una, una situación difícil o dura, you can say a difficult situation or you can say hard situation, all right? Ok. Um, um, love her. Cuando me dije, she, he loved. He loved, amaba, he loves, sorry, he loved her wife, o solo me dijo, he, he loved her, o he loved his wife, ok, y me he lo dijo. He loves a lot, he loves Ajá, a lot. Ajá, he loves her, his wife, me dijo, no, o solo he loves her, o solo he loved his wife, cualquiera de las dos formas. Now, eh, otro, eh, eh, offered, les ofreció un ramo. Mm, el offer en este caso es como cuando, o sea, no sé si creo que era, mm, quién era la, que ahorita creo que no se ha um, conectado, que, que vende dulcitos. Ella los ofrece, ¿verdad? Porque las está, está haciendo como una oferta. Entonces, en este caso sería que le dio, gave, ¿verdad? Se lo regaló, ¿ok? She gave otro... Um, He walking around, me dijo, no. He walked around, es, caminaba, ¿verdad? Walked, no con ING, sino que con ED. Ok, walking around the forest. Never in the city was seen. He was never seen in the city anymore. Él es, ahí, eh, digamos, es más cosa de sintaxis, de cómo poner también como en orden la idea. Ok, ahí sería mejor. ¿Se acuerdan cómo, cómo siempre decimos...? Una estructura en inglés que es sujeto, verbo, complemento. ¿Sí o no? Entonces, he was never seen in the city. Ahí, él nunca fue visto en la ciudad. O in the town. O, um, ¿qué, ¿qué otra cosa? The three girls are talking. Sería the three girls were talking. Ellas estaban hablando. ¿Ok? Uh, what else? Um, feel ugly yo me siento feo, me siento bonita no, en este caso they felt strange puedo decir que se sintieron extrañas, verdad, no sé qué otra palabra podríamos ocupar pero de sentirse feo es más algo de físico verdad, o sea y el hombre no era tan feo, verdad, tampoco así que no, they felt scary Uh, perdón, they felt scared, se sintieron asustadas. Mm. O you, you can say frightened. Aquí está el fright, frightened. All right, así. Teacher. Paniqueada. Hoy sí. Good night. I see you tomorrow. Okay. Allá pues, okay. mañana sí continuamos con la clase regular. Bye bye. Take care. Thank you, teacher. Bye bye. Thank you as well, guys. Hoy, hoy ustedes dieron la clase. Felicidades. Bye.